Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie from ER Audiology and today we're going to explore everything you need to know about tinnitus. We're going to cover what it actually is, why it happens, and most importantly, what you can do about it. So let's dive in. What is tinnitus? Tinnitus is the perception of a sound when no external sound source is present. People describe it differently. Some hear ringing, others buzzing, hissing, clicking, or even musical tones. It can be constant or come and go, loud or barely noticeable. Here is what is important to understand about tinnitus itself. It's not a disease, it's a symptom kind of like how a fever is a symptom of an infection. The phantom sounds you're hearing are your brain's way of telling you something is happening with your auditory system. There are two types of tinnitus. Subjective tinnitus is what most people experience. Only you can hear it. This accounts for about 95% of cases. Then there's objective tinnitus, which is much rarer. With this type, a doctor can actually hear the sound using special equipment. This usually happens when there's a physical problem creating an actual sound in your body. What are the common causes of tinnitus? The most common cause is hearing loss, especially age-related hearing loss or damage from loud noise exposure. When your inner ear hair cells get damaged, your brain tries to compensate by turning up its internal volume. This can create that phantom sound. Other causes of tinnitus include earwax buildup, certain medications, especially aspirin and some antibiotics when taken in high doses, ear infections, TMJ disorders, high blood pressure, and head or neck injuries. Sometimes tinnitus can even be caused by stress or anxiety, creating a frustrating cycle where the tinnitus causes stress, which makes the tinnitus much worse. So when should you see a doctor about your tinnitus? If your tinnitus is sudden, severe, or only in one ear, you should get it checked out promptly. Also see a doctor if it's accompanied by hearing loss, dizziness, or discharge from your ear. Even if your tinnitus doesn't fall into these urgent categories, it's still worth discussing with your doctor, especially if it is affecting your sleep, concentration, or your quality of life. What treatment options are actually available for treating tinnitus? The good news is that there are many treatment options available. The approach depends on the underlying cause. If it's something simple like earwax, then removal may solve the problem completely. If it's medication related, your doctor may need to adjust your prescriptions. For tinnitus related to hearing loss, hearing aids can be incredibly effective. They not only improve your hearing, but can also mask the tinnitus sounds. Sound therapy is another option, using background noise or special sound generators to make the tinnitus less noticeable. A common option in audiology is tinnitus retraining therapy, which combines sound therapy with counseling to help your brain learn to ignore the tinnitus sounds. Cognitive behavioral therapy can help you develop coping strategies and change negative thought patterns about your tinnitus. Beyond medical treatments, there are also lifestyle strategies that can help with managing your tinnitus. Avoiding loud noises and wearing ear protection when necessary, 
limiting caffeine and alcohol, as these can sometimes worsen tinnitus. Regular exercise and stress management techniques like meditation or yoga can also be beneficial. Many people find relief using background noise, like a fan, a white noise machine, or even something like nature sounds can help mask the tinnitus, especially at night. The key is finding what is going to work for you. I want to emphasize that while tinnitus can be frustrating, people learn to manage it successfully. It might take time to find the right combination of treatments, but with patience and the right support, you can reduce its impact on your life. Remember, you're not alone in this. Support groups, both online and in person, can connect you with others who understand what you're going through. It's also worth noting that Apple has recently released a study marking how low heart rate variability, an indicator of stress, is correlated with an increased severity of tinnitus as reported by participants. This suggests that when your stress levels are high, the severity of the tinnitus can also increase. Tinnitus affects everyone differently, but understanding it is the first step towards managing it effectively. If you are dealing with tinnitus, don't suffer in silence. There are resources and treatments available to help. If tinnitus is affecting your life, we are here to help. Visit one of our ER audiology clinics at Capalaba or Hamilton. Head to our website, eraudiology.com, to book your appointment or contact us on social media. We would love to support you on your hearing health journey.